How good is Hanzo? He's pretty good. Yeah, he's doing he's doing pretty good. He's doing all right. If you didn't already know, Hanzo got a big buff in the PTR, which is set to go live in about a week from now. These buffs include a larger projectile hitbox, 30% increased projectile movement speed, and a 10% increase in player movement speed while aiming. They did tone down his hitbox after a bit of testing by 33%, but it's still significantly larger than it is on the live servers. All of this adds up to a much stronger Hanzo. I'll be brutally honest with myself and with you. I'm not always the best aimer. Yeah, sure, if I'm 100% focused and energized, I can do pretty well. But as I've said before, I'm not a crack shot. I ain't no seagull. However, with its faster speed and larger hitbox, I've been nailing shots with Hanzo, sometimes chaining multiple headshots together when I didn't even mean to. I mean, these are literally like accidental headshots and kills. And then I gotta play it off like, yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> And I think this is why Hanzo players get a bad rep from the community. Because you can just spam projectiles in the direction of the enemy, and every now and then catch a lucky hit. And yes, you can do that with any hero. The difference with Hanzo is the amount of accidental kills this ends up getting you, due to the size of his projectile and the fact that a single headshot will kill any 200 health hero. This is hilarious when you do it, and very frustrating when it happens to you. But apparently, this is just how it has to be. Hanzo is a hero that seems to toe the line between trash and god tier. When they reduced the size of projectiles, he was almost completely phased out of the meta. And now that they've increased it again, pro players are saying that he may determine the outcome of games in the months ahead. Meaning, whoever has the best Hanzo wins. And let's not forget that beyond the increased power of his projectiles, he still has Scatter and Sonic Arrow, as well as his ultimate. Scatter Arrow, in many cases, is a free insta-gib against any squishy hero, Sonic Arrow lets him see through walls every 20 seconds, and his ultimate is amazing for clearing the point or payload. I don't think the strength of Hanzo's kit was ever the issue, it was always the reliability of his basic attacks, which now with these changes are a whole lot better. Look, balance is tough in any game that has a large cast of heroes with a wide variety of abilities. It's been said that perfect balance in these games is near impossible, especially considering the wide variance in skill level in a player base. Certain heroes can be great in one level of play and terrible in another, so balancing for both ends of the spectrum is basically impossible. I think the best thing that we can do as players is be aware of each hero's strength and weakness and how they rank from update to update in our level of play. Since the perceived power of heroes will always go up and down throughout the lifetime of this game, this is really all we can do. With that said, if the current changes stick, expect an pending Hanzo Apocalypse. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today as we talk about the strength of Hanzo, which as it stands right now in the PTR, which will be going live very soon, he's really, he's pretty good, as we said. He's pretty, pretty good. I, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of looking forward to having him back in the game. I unless I'm the one getting shot, then I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for me here today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon. And until next time, I'll see you later.